Good evening, everyone out there in Ultrix land. I've been remiss. It's been a couple of days. I've been a little bit under the weather, had a lot of work stuff going on. So I'm not really synchronous as far as keeping up with my videos here in June of 2024. However, probably the majority of people that, the, the, the literally tens of people that watch this video and get their advanced cert, you're probably not going to be going along with me this month. So if I, my voice does weird things because I'm kind of shaking off a cough here. All right. So what are we doing today? Today, we're going to go over, I'll talk a little bit more about the test, but really just as far as how it informs the plan, the study plan for the week one, what you should do. And I've stacked up quite a lot of topics for week one. We've actually got three kind of major functional areas. Let me bring up my study guide here. Oop, there we go. More of it and less of me is a good thing. So we're going to start out in this kind of category that I've called other here. Now, this is my spreadsheet. Um, I will probably publish a version of this. There's some stuff in here about the test that I'll probably keep to myself, but I'll put out a version that everybody can use. I will probably actually make it into a slide deck, much like I did with the core cert. Anyway, a lot of different things on here. So you notice this giant garish yellow highlighted thing. I'll talk about that real quick. But the other section mainly deals with what we call advanced data prep. You'll see that term. Really, it's talking about multi-field and multi-row formulas. It's talking about data investigation and the tools associated with data investigation. Now, you can see there's not a ton of interactive lessons here. I'll show you the learning path real quick. Really just three interactive lessons there for those three concepts. But there is a ton of tool mastery here. And that brings us to the highlighted part. Now, the learning path has not been updated in a little while, probably since last year at the latest. And the test has been updated this year in 2024. All of these tools that are highlighted here, the download tool, the blob tool, the bud is block until done, the dynamic tools, all of those things, they were added for this year's test. Now, they're not super stressed. And we'll talk about how many questions you might see on each of these. But those are additional things that you're responsible for on this test that are not highlighted in the learning path because that has not been updated. The best you can do with these tools is go to the tool mastery. You can also do one tool examples, a lot of different good ways to learn these. But just suffice to say, if you only go through the learning path, you are going to kind of blank on some questions because you won't see these coming. You'll see them in the study guide that just has been updated with the test. However, you won't have them in the learning path. So I've kind of, each of these times here, I just tried to sum up how much time investment we're looking at. For the interactive lessons, they are, the times are however long it takes you to get through them. There's an estimate within the learning path of how long it takes to get through those. For tool mastery, those are articles on the, in the help site. Generally estimate about 10 minutes to get through each of those. Some of these were really short, download, blob, and block until done. So I estimated those at five, but really I tried to make it kind of a high-end estimate of the amount of time you're going to have to invest. You can probably read through these quicker than this 10-minute estimate and get down to the bottom. So what else are we doing? Well, there's there are videos with some of these. With this one, with the other section, the only video is for dynamic input. That's about 40 minutes. You probably don't really need to go through all 40 minutes of that video, but that link is here. I will post that with this video. And then there's a weekly challenge. This uh, zero formula challenge, number 122, it's pretty simple. It's not going to take you 60 minutes to do it. It's a fairly small workflow. It just gives you some practice using the multi-row formula tool. And then the other topic, so that's the other category. The other topic that I included in this week because it's just, it kind of doesn't fit anywhere else is regex. Um, so the parsing, but really it's just the only additional parsing tool we're gonna use is the regex tool. Regex is a huge topic that you can see there are a ton of interactive lessons for this, one for each of the regex functions, 
one for red, doing regex with XML code, one for doing regex with JSON files. There is a tool mastery. There's only one tool, so there's only one tool mastery for this one. And then there is a weekly challenge. This is also a very simple weekly challenge. I'll show you these, just kind of start them off, and then I'll do videos working through some of these a little bit later. And then I may, pardon me, I may include a couple of other weekly challenges. I tried to find some that were sort of intermediate challenging. I couldn't find many that actually required you to use that tool, but also were kind of approachable and advanced level level. That's really kind of an intermediate difficulty when you come to weekly challenges. I'll keep hunting. I may change during the week, but I'll probably work through these weekly challenges in separate videos during this week. Okay, now there is there are big kind of omnibus videos for a lot of these segments. There is one for regex. It also does include part of the uh, advanced data prep. It will go over multi-row, multi-field formulas and regex with a, a one of our Alteryx CSMs or some some kind of professional instructor teaching the package. So I'll show you where to find that. Okay, so that's the study guide. Let's go ahead and. All right, so we're in Alteryx community. What's going to be kind of our go-to to study all this stuff? It's going to be go to support, not sorry, learn academy, and you're going to go to learning paths. All right, so from community.alteryx.com, learn academy, learning paths. And that's going to take you to this page. Should look fairly familiar if you did the 30-day core challenge. Right here, that was the getting started learning path. Now, if you remember the getting started learning path is very sequential, very linear. Do this, then this, then this, then this. It had kind of little drop down menus, but it was all kind of in order. That's because those skills sort of built on each other. That is not the case with the advanced certification. As you, well, we go in here, we're going to see it's kind of a blob, right? It's a little cloud of things to do. None of these skills build on each other. Apps and macros kind of relate to each other, but spatial and reporting, completely different topics. Parsing, completely different topic from everything else. Other, there's a kind of a grab bag, completely different topics. It, so it's not a sequential build. It's these are the kind of next level of skills that you need to build on your core level skills. So what are we working on this week? We're working on this other section and this parsing section. Let's look at other real quick because it's kind of simple. This formula section right here, don't worry about joining. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the, in the other section, we're going to go into formulas and data investigation. The formulas, really, it's just two tools, multi-field formula and multi-row formula. So you've got interactive lessons. You've got those tool masteries to, to do. Data investigation, it really only has three tool mastery things here. There's some kind of inconsistency with data investigation. There is a question on the test, the test version that I did last Saturday that deals with a tool that is not shown here. I'll, I'll talk, I may do a brief video just on data investigation because it's kind of an odd topic. I tend to teach it a lot. It's a tool palette that doesn't get a lot of love, but there you go. In one interactive lesson and then the tool mastery Spend some time on that, um, but you will not have to prac app those. There will almost certainly be a practical application question that uses either multi-row or multi-field formula on the test. There almost always is. The other segment we're working today or this week is parsing. Let's continue with parsing. So you've got interactive lessons, just it should be quite a few of them. Yeah, so all of the different things. What is regex? How do you match? How do you replace? How do you parse? How do you split? all sorts of different things you can do with regex. There are two weekly challenges. They're both pretty basic. Tool mastery, there's just the one tool. And then this will take you to this video, advanced certification prep part five. This video is a little dated. The, all of these are from this page, you can find all of the videos. So part one through six of, of preparing for the advanced exam. They're each about an hour hour, hour and a minute right there. So I've estimated them all, I think at 60 minutes. 
I highly recommend them, you know, spend a day, like the last day of the week, maybe, maybe Saturday, you just go through this video, take some notes, review the things that maybe don't, don't sound familiar to you from during the week. But there, that's the video. What else do we need to talk about? So you've got the learning path. The learning path will spell out the interactive lessons that you have to do. It will spell out most of the tool mastery that you have to do, and it will direct you to the video. Let me show you. So I took my write up of the. That's not it. That's not it either. I took my write up of the the questions that I got from the test. And I threw them into some data investigation tools. And I'm, I made a couple little graphs that I'd like to show you. Here what we have is, this is a summation of the questions. Now in the study guide, in the prep, I think they break it down into, you've got practical application, which I don't want percent, I want frequency. Practical application, there are three. They're worth four points, which works out to about 6.7% of the grade for each question. So there, you know, that's significant, whereas the multiple choice are each about a little less than 2% of the grade. Um, matching, there are four straight matching where it's every op, every answer has a little drop down and you've got to match. Sometimes the matching is three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five different matchings. And then multiple choice, I counted 44. I think in one of the study guides, it shows those as different. It counts multiple choice as the ones that literally have one answer. And then the rest have multiple answers. About half of the multiple choice have multiple answers. Now, the thing is, unlike the core test and unlike the old advanced test, they tell you precisely how many answers there are for each question. So it will say, choose all the right answers there are three and it it will prompt you if you don't choose three or two or however many that it says it will prompt you to do that okay so those are the types of questions now i drilled down a little bit further into the like what does the question actually ask the the most the biggest one is what kind of configuration is going to get this result so we'll show you kind of before and after, what does the data look like before, what does the data look like after, and then it will show you different configurations. Or it will ask you a question about what, what would you have to configure this particular option in order to get this result. Capabilities, there are 10 of those, so there's 17 of those, what configuration will get this result. There are 10 questions about capabilities. What are what are all of the tools that have capability X? What are the three things that the field summary tool can do? Whatever. So capabilities of the tool. There are seven questions that ask you which tool or capability can do this thing. Um, so it'll show you something that's been done and we'll say which tool did this. Um, or sometimes it's which capability within designer you know what was changed within configuration there are four questions that ask um, which of the following are true there are four questions that show you a result show you a before and after and then ask you what which workflow got this result I'll show you different examples of workflows or we'll ask you which tools were involved okay na uh, those are the prac apps matching those are the matching questions easy enough Conceptual questions, there was one conceptual question, there was one that um, was a result from a configuration, and there was one that asked what will the output be, uh, but those were not terribly common. Oh, those are ones, <clears throat> excuse me, those are ones I marked for review. Okay, so which tool is this about? I won't go over that one, but topics. This is something that I, you know, should cover. So the heavy hitter topics, and this does include practical application questions. The heavy hitter topics are input, output, macros, reporting, spatial. Each of those had six questions. Some of those include practical application. There were five questions on apps. There were two questions on developer tools, which we'll talk about in other. 
the, the dynamic tools. So developer tools, four questions. That's a whole lot of questions to not be included in the learning path. So you need to focus on that. You need to know what the developer tools do, particularly the dynamic tools. Check my list here. Yeah, particularly the dynamic input, dynamic select, block until done, um, and then blob connect. There's a question on that. Okay. So dev tools is big interface. We're not doing on this one. Prep tools. There were three questions on those. So developer tools four, prep tools three, and then two questions on parsing. Okay. To include at, <coughs> at least one of the practical applications dealt with this section. So you need to work this hard. You need to understand how to use regex and you need to understand how to use those multi-row, multi-field formulas for sure. Okay. All right. That is my report on the test. Now, what I'm not going to do here is I'll, I'll talk, I'll talk about weekly challenges here to close this out. What I'm not going to do this time in this 30 day challenge is, is do a lot of hand holding. Last time I did kind of these extensive 45 minute to an hour videos. And a lot of it was kind of me watching, there was a whole lot more kind of practical application things within the learning path. I did a lot of those. It was a lot more of me kind of going through instructions, going through kind of how to do the, you know, all of the things in the, in the interactive lessons. I'm not going to hold your hand with that. I assume at this point, if you're doing the advanced certification, you've already done core you already have kind of a study method you're good with that so i've listed out what you need to do in addition to that's not it in addition to the learning path make sure you do the tool mastery go ahead and you know pause this take a screenshot whatever let me zoom in a little bit more you can go to you can find the tool mastery index i will post that link and but make sure you go to and find these tool mastery articles. Download, blob, block until done, the dynamic tools, the directory tool, and the association analysis section. Okay. Yeah, I listed association analysis twice. Silly me. Anyway, the rest of these, this one here, like make group, don't see it on the study guide anymore. It's still on the learning path. I don't think you probably need to do that. I'm going to do a strike through here or something like that. We'll, we'll let it go. But yeah, just word of the wise, make group, not there. Pearson correlation is on there. Spearman correlation is not on there. Definitely look up the one tool example of the Spearman correlation. Trust me on this. Look up the Spearman correlation. Okay. Yeah. So last things last, let's talk about so there are two workflows recommended for weekly challenges. Like I said, I went back and forth on this. These are very simple. The Both of these can be knocked down in five, six tools. This is not to say that you'll be that efficient, but it is easy, possible, and fairly simple to do. This 207 here, um, this is a video game data set. I thought I ran this. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the data set. This is the one they recommend for regex. And what you've got here is you just got a horrendous jumble of data. And so you need a regex function to go through there and parse out whatever the data is they're asking you for within this. It's not too complicated. What, how, how much data do they actually ask you for? Parse the data provided below into columns. Okay, so you pretty much just have to parse it all out. Now, you can do this simply in one regex function. You can write, write one grand regex string. You can break it up into multiple parts. Maybe that'll give you a few more reps. I don't know. But yeah, take this one down with, with regex. Don't try and bash your head against the wall and do it with text to columns. So time, time to master regex. So, okay, 207 is not actually that bad. That will take a pretty, a pretty decent regex string of characters there to to bust that thing up. The other one they recommend is weekly challenge 122. 
this one here, really all you're doing, you, you're doing like a dense rank if you're familiar with SQL. So it does take, there are various ways to do this. You should do it with a multi-row formula. When when I do a video showing this, I'll bust it up with a with a multi-row formula. But essentially you want to take this rating right here, this kind of sequence of numbers of which there some are sequential, some are there's there's a few of them. And you want to basically you want to in descending order, you want to give it a dense rank. Easy. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Best way to take it down is with a multi-row formula, and that's what you should do figure out how to kind of reference rows above and below the row that you're in. Okay, so that is, I mean, that's a little longer than I probably intended to. I meant for this to be about a 15 minute video. That's fine. There was a lot of was some, some kind of rehash from the test and there was some kind of orientation of kind of how we want to do this. But that is the basic study plan for week one. Go to the learning path. Do all the interactive lessons, do the tool mastery. Uh, make sure you read up on the tools that are not covered in the learning path. Hit that video, it's about an hour. And then do the at least those two weekly weekly challenges. You can easily go and search for more weekly challenges. Just go search for multi-row formula, multi-field formula, weekly challenge. Best way to do it is in Google. Our, our search engines are not great. But go into Google and look for Alteryx Weekly Challenge Multi-Row Formula you'll get a handful of examples. I will try and dig up some more that I've done that maybe are a little more challenging than this one right here. Maybe they require a handful of other tools for prep because the, the challenges that you're gonna get on the test are not gonna be kind of one trick ponies, you know, drop that one tool that you just studied and knock it out. They're gonna be they're going to be challenging. They're going to be robust. They're going, there's going to be data prep and, and aggregation and all this stuff to be done on the front and back end, not just the, you know, all the shiny new tools that you've learned. Okay. So with that, please let me know what questions you have. I'm always willing, you know, if you, you know, maybe you're, you're a follower, longtime follower, longtime listener, first time caller. And if you followed me for a while on LinkedIn, I will always connect with someone who sends me a message and says, hey, I saw your YouTube content or, you know, I'm trying for my, you know, my advanced certificate or I just got my core certificate with your videos. That always that always gives me a thrill to hear that because, you know, making content is a lot of fun. It's also a lot of work, but it's always very re rewarding. I don't make any money for this. It's always very rewarding to hear six months or a year later that somebody saw a piece of content that I made a while back and really got something out of it. That's, uh, you know, that, that's really why I do it. This is to provide value for you. With that in mind, my intent was to make these videos with an eye towards value. I didn't really lead with that on this video. So bad on me. I'm going to, I'm going to do better next time. Multi-row and multi-field formulas are used all the time. I use them constantly. They are tremendously useful. Regex, once you figure out the basics of regex, you will use it all the time. Trust me on this. The people that don't use regex are the people that are terrified of regex. It's really not that hard. So yeah, get into that lesson. I may do a brief video just on regex and just kind of playing with different, maybe different challenges and different workflows where we can use it. It was very useful at my last job in marketing analytics. I don't really do head down analytics anymore, so I can't say it's that useful at my job. I do teach it quite often. I taught it at Inspire this year and last year. Wonderful class. I think I'm good at teaching it. But yeah, these are these are tools that you should have in your toolbox if you are an Alteryx practitioner. So hopefully that explains to you the value of studying advanced data prep, uh, advanced formulas. Uh, data investigation, I'll I'll do probably a brief video on that as well, because I really think that's a topic that doesn't get quite enough love. I did teach that at Inspire last year. There, didn't have that class this year, but okay. Now I'm now I'm just digressing and telling war stories. So with that, I will say happy Alteryxing. I hope that you're working through this course. I hope that you hit me up with any questions. If you like this content, click like and subscribe and notify so you never miss out on it. And with that, Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.